Hey guys, Justin with AmericanMuscle.com here with our best of video for the Pan Hard Bar category, available for all 2005 to 2014 Mustangs. Now the purpose of this video is to give you a good, better, and best option when it comes to shopping for a Pan Hard Bar to help you recenter that axle underneath your lowered S197 GT. Now the Pan Hard Bar is a vital link in your factory S197's rear suspension and is responsible for controlling lateral or side-to-side -side movement of your rear axle, but at the same time is also responsible for that thrust angle as well, ensuring the rear axle is centered at all times. The problem or the issue is once you lower your car a little bit, that factory fixed length bar tends to push your axle out a little bit further on one side. And at that point, you need an adjustable option to bring it center back underneath the car again. Now, on top of being able to center that rear axle after lowering, an adjustable pan hard bar will typically offer some different bushing options to help further solidify that rear axle, reducing your wheel hop and improving traction and your handling ability. Now, I should point out that all three of the options I've selected here today in this video are adjustable, meaning you can use them on stock or lowered rides, but if you're not lowered and you wanna save a few bucks while taking advantage of some of the construction and bushing benefits, you can always opt for a non-adjustable bar as well. But with all that said, let's get into our first pick. First up, we have the SR Performance double adjustable option shown right here. Now, most of you guys know SR as an entry level or value option in a number of different categories, and the same can be said for their Pan Hard Bar option that we're talking about today. Now, it is by far and away the most affordable option for the three valve S197, and as such, it's not gonna be the flashiest or fanciest option out there, but it gets the job done for right around 100 bucks. Now, the whole double adjustable thing really refers to the way this bar can be adjusted, and that is with the two lock nuts here on either side of the bar itself. Now, personally, I'm more of a fan of the single adjustment found on our next two pan hard bar options in this video, but for all intents and purposes here, guys, the SR will be adjustable and on-car adjustable at that, meaning you won't have to remove the bar itself every time you need to make a small tweak. Construction-wise, the SR is pretty solid overall, including the T6 billet aluminum construction, finished off in the anodized black and complete with the spherical bearing ends here, which will be the best at reducing movement of that rear axle, but at the slight cost of picking up a little bit more noise, vibration, and harshness. Altogether, a great budget-friendly option that will give owners some adjustability to center that rear axle for right around that $100 price point. Next up, we have a real nice option here at the White Line on-car adjustable pan hard bar. Now, compared to the SR we just talked about, the White Line is going to add some mass as far as construction and build is concerned, and will be much more burly overall, in my opinion, while only costing you roughly 20 to 30 bucks more than our entry-level option. And that beefier build is the direct result of this tubular DOM steel construction, which is then finished off in that signature White Line gray powder coat. Now, the highlight for me with this particular option are the forged ends here, but loaded with White Line's proprietary Maxi bushing. This is a unique dual durometer bushing that will provide you with all of the strength of a poly bushing, but without needing any extra grease or maintenance over the years. Now going back to that whole adjustability thing, the white line will offer you with the single adjustment point right here, but will be very easy to access with a wrench while on the car, making adjustments rather painless for you or your local alignment shop. Altogether, a very, very nice option that is built extremely well, and best of all, will be maintenance free for the life of your car. Last but not least, we have the most popular option in the category, and that is the five-star rated BMR adjustable pan hard bar finished in their hammer tone powder coat. Now, the BMR option is also going to offer a very stout build, this time utilizing one and a quarter inch DOM steel tubing for most of your build here, with the exception of the 4130 chromoly threaded adjuster here, which is where you're gonna be making your adjustments. Now that DOM steel tubing has been finished off in one of two signature coatings from BMR, the hammer tone as we've already pointed out, but interested buyers can also grab this thing in red if preferred. The BMR pan hard bar is loaded with the company's signature high durometer greasable polyurethane bushings, which will do a great job of reducing deflection and movement of that rear axle, but at the same time is gonna be a killer option for the street cars out there who want that added performance, but without all the extra noise, vibration, and harsh that can sometimes come along with a more aggressive bushing option like those spherical ends 
found on the SR Performance bar. And as a proud owner of the BMR adjustable on my personal S197 GT, I can tell you their Panhard bar is built very well, does the job without any drama, and can be had for right around the $140 price point. Now before we get out of here, I do want to point out that the installation of any Panhard bar is a pretty simple job thanks to the simple two-bolt install. However, the adjustment is where things might get a little bit challenging. So if you're looking to do this on your own, you might want to come up with a plumb bob setup, make your measurements on either side of your wheel, and then make your adjustments. However, the best way to do this is no doubt take this to your local alignment shop, get that thrust angle checked out, and you'll be good to go. Either way, let's call this a simple one out of three wrenches on the difficulty meter here, and maybe 30 minutes to an hour, depending on your setup. Well, guys, that's gonna wrap up our best of video for the Panhard Bar, available for all 2005 to 2014 Mustangs. Now, if you have any more questions, or if you'd like more info on any of the products listed in this video, feel free to check out the respective product pages at any time. In the meantime, thanks for watching. I'm Justin, and for all things Mustang, keep it right here at AmericanMuscle.com.